was raining the whole night and it was actually quite cold <laughs> I still have to repair my pillow it's so uncomfortable to sleep without pillow I glued it yesterday together. Let's see if it works. It's such a beautiful morning where you see the mist rising up over the lake. And yes, our night was quite uncomfortable, but there's nothing better than camping. It's so beautiful. Coffee. <laughs> Rabbit poop here. Good morning world! Welcome to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee! Good morning Bumblebee! <laughs> We're here Camping next to this misty lake, next to the small village of Nikolovo in Bulgaria. And I'm trying to warm up this morning with a nice coffee. Yeah, unfortunately the night wasn't that comfortable. We had some holes in the ground, so I had to find a space where I could sort of lay as flat as I could. And my pillow doesn't work anymore. And it was quite cold. But hey, you have to suffer a little bit to wake up to this kind of view. But it looks really promising because I can see already that the sun is coming up over there. Yes, please, sun, come on. It's going to be an awesome ride today. Let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and today we are heading south out of Bulgaria and into Greece to reach the coast and head towards Thessaloniki. Yes, we are heading into our second EU country, Greece. Yeah! And we're taking pretty much the most southern route that we can take in Europe to keep it as warm as possible. So we'll be pretty much following the coast of Greece and heading towards Albania. For today our aim is to get as far as we can but we have to cross a border and we still have to pack up everything. It's already 8 o'clock so better hit the road, let's go! So we're just leaving the tent up whilst we have breakfast to see if it can dry a little bit. Got these guys drying out over here. It was really, really dewy this morning. Everything is like soaking wet and it did rain a lot last night. So now we can sit in our lovely chairs, face the beautiful sunshine of the morning and have a lovely breakfast. What are we having for breakfast? We have very, very nice bread. You can buy this bread in Turkey everywhere actually. Sesame ring. Look at that. That is covered in sesame seeds. Yeah, <laughs> I love sesame seeds. So we have some sesame bread with some cream cheese. That's amazing. Good morning, guys. You can hear the little bells all jingling. Sometimes I just want to be a sheep herder. <laughs> Just wandering around with your, your flock. Yes, I like the sound they're making. I guess it gets quite annoying for him after a while though. I think it's quite meditative. 
I would put different notes on each one. Oh, that's a good idea. And then, like, you'd have, like, this ding, dong, dong, ding, 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 ding. Maybe randomly once a day, they would play, like, Beethoven. <laughs> you could definitely record them and then make a sheep album. Exactly. Techno flock. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, let's do a little turn here. Yeah. Look at my seat covers. They are not really good anymore. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, bumblebee. Have you put on weight? <laughs> <laughs> Too much honey. Too much honey. There we go. Starting first time, like always. Goodbye, most beautiful camp. It was a really nice day here in Bulgaria. Time to head to Greece, eh? It's been short, but at least we had one nice camp out in the countryside. Yeah. That's cool. It was worth it. And you know, the first half of the night was fine. It was cloudy, overcast, raining, and that was warmer. Halfway through the night, it cleared up and the temperature just dropped dramatically. And I wasn't even wearing my coat or anything in bed. So suddenly I woke up, I was freezing. So it's kind of like half really nice and then half a little bit uncomfortable, but then beautiful once you get out of the tent and the sun's out. Yeah, I mean, you can't get better than that, hey? I sacrifice really uncomfortable nights for amazing camps. <laughs> if we camp tonight, we'll put on just more clothes. Then hopefully we're not going to wake up cold. Yeah, but anyway, so it's 47 miles straight to the border to Greece. It will take us about one hour so i'm super excited to cross into country number 32. <laughs> oh look at this dog so Aww. happy yes <laughs> i've been told that time will heal all our wounds and our sorrows too no more clouds no more rain i need sun Have a look at this giant betting billboard. It's really strange actually, since we entered Bulgaria, we see advertising for betting shops everywhere. This one here. FBET. FBET have apparently sponsored the entire road because their their advertisements are just all the way down this road. It's really crazy. I've seen so many casinos, betting shops. Look at this here. FBET, <laughs> FBET, FBET. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know how you can't be a gambling addict if you live here. Once we exited Turkey, it was just like casino here betting there i felt like back in las vegas yeah i don't know if this is just for like people coming over the border because they can't gamble maybe in turkey or if it's like this in the whole of bulgaria but i hope it's not like this in the whole of bulgaria so first and last fill up here in bulgaria first and last yeah we can't be sure that greece isn't more expensive than bulgaria so we may as well fill up bumblebee we're only seven miles from the border now and i don't know we either save money or lose money but here for the first time in a little while we have to do it ourselves oh there's a lot of different ones here okay 95. so it's 288 lever after the euro so about one euro 40 so about one pound Maybe one pound twenty-five. So not as cheap as Turkey. Greece might be even more. I think that the fuel is just going to gradually go up in price from now on as we get closer and closer to England. So this is like thirty lever, fifteen euro. I can hear Lavi inside saying, "Is this one cheese?" <laughs> so I think we're about to have a little snack break. <laughs> Beautiful mountains here. Look at this forest. Yeah, it looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. Wow, look at the colors of the trees. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I'm really glad in the end that we came through a small part of Bulgaria. We had a really cool camp and this is a really cool road.
really cute here in Bulgaria. We saw a lot of water points. I'm not going to say no to free water. And actually the water points, they look really nice because they are sort of on the edge of the hill. We might have really nice uh, mountain water here, which is cool. Oh wow, look, they give you even a cup. Look at this water, hey? So nice and clear. Got some plastic bottles yesterday. I will fill them up as well. Because when we go camping, we always need a little bit more water. Nice, fresh mountain water. Here we go. The border to Greece. And I flew by drone when we were filling up water just there and I didn't realize how close I was to the border until I went over the hill and suddenly I saw the border and then the signal completely stopped. Luckily the drone returned home on its own, but it was really scary. I think they must have some sort of signal blocker. Yeah. Is this fella customs? Okay. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Ah, okay, in here. Perfect. Passport control, yep. Okay. I uh, for completely forgot that we needed them, eh? Hello. Passports. Okay. So many bikers, so many bikers here. <laughs> Thank you, bye bye. Wow, this bike looks comfortable. <sighs> it does, doesn't it? It looks yeah. like a sofa on wheels. Okay, ready to rock and roll? No way, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Welcome to Greece. No way! Country <laughs> number 32! Yes! yes! It's always funny when people ask us, oh, where are you going now? And we were like, oh, we will go to uh, Greece and then Albania, Italy, Austria, Germany, France, Netherlands. And we were like, well, actually, it's just like our way home now. <laughs> From now on, it's easy. <laughs> yeah, but there you go. That's what it's like for the internal EU borders. Just totally easy, really quick procedure. I can't believe it. I know. I really, really can't believe that actually. Like I said yesterday, it's going to be plain sailing from now on. No, this is more than plain sailing. This is a, this is a, like bordering on ridiculous. This is a holiday. I love Europe for that, really. It's so easy to travel here. And this is why it's a good thing to be part of the European Union. Hey, England. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here we are. Welcome to Greece. Yeah, I'm excited for a nice ride in country number 32. Let's head back home, hey? Yup, let's get back to England. Vistonides Lake. Are they flamingos? It's flamingos. Oh! No way. Wow. Cool. This national park is called Nestos National Park. And yeah, how cool is that, eh? Here, flamingos. Cool. And some swans. And we're also very close. Just behind there is the Aegean Sea. So we are very, very close to the south coast now and it's just stunning here beautiful place magical so we just stopped here at this little cafe for lunch we just got to see if they've got something affordable for us 
there are no prices. There's no prices. <laughs> no. That's dangerous. Yeah. Looks like they have tons of salads. Oh, that's nice. Look at this thing. That looks good. Big old pastry thing. Should we could just get two of those? Yeah, maybe we just get two of those. I mean, I think it's probably this one, a cheese pie. Two euro fifty. I mean, if we just get a cheese pie each. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. That's probably all right, isn't it? Yeah. Hello. You're speaking English. Yes. Me from England. Cool. Oh, you can do it in German then. Do it in German. Okay. This is schafskäse. Okay. With kartoffeln. Uh huh. Two more Is this all chocolate? Yes, this is chocolate. Whoa. Okay. Oh, they have like a little um, fabric here to uh, make this sweets here. Kind of the Kurabje. Yes. Oh. oh, they even send it to London. And the family is Iokimidis. Okay. Ooh, oh wow okay we'll try that <laughs> oh look at that thing it's like a pasty mm, tastes good <laughs> look how much icing sugar is on that it's like a whole mountain mm. Mm. it's like a little shortbread cake with some almond inside you have mm. some icing sugar on your beard <laughs> icing sugar everywhere mm. Mm. Good. Oh yes, there it is. The Mediterranean Sea. Beautiful. How nice, eh? We're on holiday. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Beautiful water. This is like a proper holiday destination here. Yeah. Beautiful, look at that. Nice. Nice, this road is just right on the edge of the cliff. Wow, what a view. Oh wow, look, there used to be a road right there, but it's collapsed. Wow. Oh, oh. Oh cool, look at this aqueduct. Cool. This is probably an ancient Greek aqueduct or Roman aqueduct. Wow, look at this. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, that's crazy. Right in the center of this town. Huge aqueduct running across the road. That is absolutely amazing. Getting on that cobbled streets. There's just tons of fishing boats here. And I can smell, and I can smell, and I can tell you that it smells a lot like fish. The dreams come true, guys. We've made it. We've made it to little. Yes. So we're just gonna grab some stuff for tomorrow's breakfast, for tomorrow's lunch, for tomorrow's dinner. I can see some camper vans parked up over there. Oh, it looks nice, hey? I would so love to just camp here. What have you got? Well, little is really big and I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to get. Anyway, I got an aubergine salad. So nice. I think this would be really nice on bread. Mm. I got some really nice bread. Oh, look at that bread. Look, mm. Yeah, you can see it's got, it's got flour on it. It smells so good. It smells <laughs> so incredible. And then I got us some spinach and feta rolls for breakfast tomorrow oh lovely no croissants no, oh no little you disappoint me i was really hoping for those like 21 cent croissants that they have in france i guess that's maybe just the little in france that has the croissants well for now we have the basics just to survive i guess not just to survive this is thriving all right aubergine salad is thriving Okie dokie, adi choki. So are you ready to ride another three hours? No! We have decided to not go any further to, for today. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, this beach camp looked way too tempting. And we just saw all these motorhomes parked up right in front of the ocean. And we were like, no way are we going to ride any further. We've got to go check this place out. I mean, it just looks too good to be able to camp right in front of the beach. Oh no, free camping is forbidden. Free oh. camping is forbidden. So what are all these people doing here? I have no idea. Oh. Okay, so apparently we can't camp here. Do you think you're allowed with a motorhome, but not with a tent, perhaps? Yeah, perhaps. Aww, that Aww. looks really good, hey? Yeah. Yeah, but now because this sign was there, now we can't really just pitch up the tent here, no? No. Oh. No, I think we can't, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we are going to go to the other camp then. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I, was, I was really looking forward to a camp on the beach, but if free camping is forbidden in this whole county, then... Yeah, we then, don't yeah, really we, want to risk it, hey? No, we've got to move on. Yeah. coming up on the right here in a minute yeah it's really sad that we couldn't camp on the beach let's hope that this place here is all right for a night the spot we found on iOverlander the app and it says it's like a park next to the lake so it could be nice yeah, I mean it looks already quite charming here little village So many tiny roads here, hey? <laughs> oh no, there's not... Can I go? Oh yeah. <laughs> but you'd, you'd never find this place unless you knew where it was, hey? Yeah, exactly. So basically, where that motorcycle came from down there... Okay. That, that This is it. Okay. I can see there's already some sort of rigs over there. Yeah, what is that, do you think? I think that's an overlanding rig. Do you think so? Yeah. I reckon there's just anywhere in this park. Okay. This is exactly the point listed on iOverlander here. So, okay. but this is obviously not as grassy. Yeah, you can go like one time around here and see. Go a little bit further forward, shall I? Yeah, it's funny because normally I thought this is a lake here, but I think they said <laughs> there is no lake anymore. <laughs> I mean, there's reeds, yeah. so that's like indicating that there is a lake, but I think I can see that it's a little bit further away. Yeah, I reckon. Just down here. So there you go. Easy as that. Good evening guys, we made it! Happy the life! Yoo! Yep, not our first choice of camp, but it's still really nice here. In a little park, next to a lake that we can't see, but we've got a nice flat grassy area and we can't complain about that. Yeah, it looks really nice and peaceful here actually. But it was a beautiful first ride in Greece. It was just amazing to get down to the Mediterranean, see all the beautiful little towns along the coast. Yes, yeah, super beautiful, like the Mediterranean Sea and the hills and you just wind your way through it. It's like, you know, first class rides here in Greece. Plus we have little back, that's amazing. <laughs> so at the moment we just wait for our tent to dry out a little bit because it was super wet 
and then otherwise we will just have dinner we will have a really nice lentil soup tonight and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family and if you really 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 like our videos you can join us on patreon the link is in the description below we will see you next time Our little office here, our little kitchen, <laughs> bedroom. Yeah, I'm just loading footage and having my lovely lentil soup. It's so super cool because in Turkey we bought a bunch of lentil soups and it's a really easy mix to make. You know, just cold water, you stir it, then you boil it and mm. look, it's... It's so authentic as well, it tastes really good. And I put some flax seeds in there as well. <laughs> to be super healthy. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm.